Scarlett Johansson has had an incredible run these last few years with blockbusters and critical hits like Her, Avengers, Under Her Skin, Chef, and others on the way. Now, according to a report in The Wrap, Johansson has ha signed up for the upcoming R-rated comedy, Move That Body. The project is described like this. Five friends rent a beach house in Miami for a bachelorette weekend and accidentally kill a male stripper. Christian, do you like the sounds of Move That Body? You know how that goes, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> this literally sounds like my future bachelorette party. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the movie that I uh, was uh, with Jeremy Piven? Right, uh, it was uh, evil, evil deeds or mean, big, bad things, very bad things. Very bad th is oh, that the what one is? with uh, uh, Christian Slater. Yeah, yeah, I think it's yeah. very bad things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, very bad things. Um, that's what it reminds me of, yeah. and I think I, I do like the sound of this movie, and I and also I do it, it. It's perfect. This shows what Scarlett Johansson has done in the smart move she makes with her career. Because when she does something like, let's say, Black Widow, she spins it into her own starring movie. I hated Lucy, but it it did well and it showed Made that she- Made bank. And it also showed that she, regardless of the movie, it's, yeah. I believed her as an action star, mm -hmm. for sure. And then she's gonna be, she's doing more action movies and it, she made her footing there. But now jumping back into comedy, she can do comedy. Oh, yeah. She did with with John with Don uh, Don John Don Juan. What's the yeah. one? Don, Don John. John. Don John. I was Don John. Yeah. So Don John, she did that as well too. So I could see this. This could be really bizarre. It could be really funny. And I think that this to me this goes back to what we were talking about when one of the viewers wrote in about when when you have women and they're putting them in the in the reboots of say Ghostbusters or o Ocean's Eleven, and we're like, well, the premises or maybe them standing alone and doing something else could be interesting. Yes. This is a premise like Very Bad Things, but isn't a remake of Very Bad Things. Right. It is yeah, something that's so. standing out on its own. So this is something that I go, yes, that's a movie that could be really interesting and could then further exactly like some really funny women in it, some people who maybe aren't known specifically right. for comedy and making them comedy stars and giving them the kind of like a hangover type movie. I think this is a really smart move. She's never really done comedy before. I mean, she kind of played the straight man in a few, like in Chef. But she wasn't like a comedic character in Chef. Well, that's why I brought up Don John because it's it's kind of I comedy loved her drama. I mean, yeah. I hated her character, right. but I loved her. She, in the, Don she John. hit those comedy moments. Oh yeah, she yeah. really did. And I think to see her in just a full out comedy, I think is going to be really interesting <clears throat> because she's proven, as you've pointed out, she can do drama great. She can do voiceover great. She can do action great. Let's see her in a full blown out comedy. This sounds like it could be really fun and funny. What is going to make or break this to me is going to be the supporting cast around her. Yeah. Like you put, this seems like a movie you could really make a great cast with. Like Bridesmaids. If you build, yeah, kind of like a new version of Bridesmaids. Yeah. I think this could be really great, so I'm really enthusiastic for it. Well, she's done comedy before. She was in The Spirit, remember guys? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't even remember her being yeah, in she that. she was in it with Sam Jackson. Um, I love Scarlett Johansson. She can do no wrong, even in the spirit. I think I love her flexibility from the Black Widow all the way to Under the Skin. She's not afraid to take risks. You're going to see her in Ghost in the Shell, and now you're going to see her in this like murder mystery comedy. So everything about this sounds like it's really fun, and I and I like that she's not she's willing to take chances. She's going to bring with her like that comic sensibility that she had all the way back in Ghost World. You could see that that right. that elements there, and she's going to exploit it. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.